My name is Ashley McDonald, and my educational giant, her name is Katherine Beecher, and she was born on September 6th in 1800 in East Hampton, New York, and her parents, her name, their names are Lyman and Roxana Beecher, and her father, he's a minister, and so their religion is a big part of their life and their family. And then when Catherine was 16 years old, her mother died. And Catherine kind of took over the household. She was the oldest of 13 kids. So she had lots of younger siblings to take care of. And during this time, her and her father, they created a very strong relationship and a year later, after her mom died, her father remarried to Harriet Porter. And she, and then she was, you know, she was able to take over as the mother, but she still kind of, her siblings still respected her, and she was just a big part of her family's life. Um, she, this, that experience, it led her to be it led her to to realize the importance of the women's a woman's role as a mother what that god has given us given women this amazing role to take care of and provo to take care of and to teach young children um and then her, um Catherine she never married her fiance he was killed in a shipwreck and um, this led to her beliefs of equal education. Her fiancé was a strong believer in that. He believed that men and women, they have, they're, they're, you know, they're both smart. They are both very capable of doing that. And so she took his beliefs and she combined them with her beliefs that she thinks that women, they should have the opportunity to go to school and get educated formally to become teachers. She believed that women, since they have this natural ability to be mothers and teach their children, that they have this natural ability to teach others, and so that they make better teachers than men. Um, so she wanted women to go to school to become better mothers and to become teachers. Um, she created, uh, throughout her life, she, she spent her life educating people. And she, in that, she created some schools just for women so that they could have the opportunity to become educated. And those schools were, there was the Hartford Female Seminary and then the Female Institution of Cincinnati. Um, and then also she created this association with a bunch of women that eventually ended up creating a bunch of schools out west, and they educated teachers to teach those schools, so that those children out there in those more rural areas, they could have the same opportunities as the people on the east coast. So anyway, one thing that I found really interesting about her, when I started researching her, I was like, oh, she's going to be a feminist, um, she's going to be all for women, uh, she's just going to be a feminist, and I, I was kind of, I was kind of biased about it, but then I started reading, and I learned that even though she was for equal education and for women to be educated, she was totally against women's suffrage and against, um, she was anti-feminist. All, her sisters, one of her sisters is Harriet Beecher Stowe, which is kind of cool and kind of important, but they, all of her sisters, they, they like these, they like to go to the women's suffrage movements and they like to go to the forums and stuff that they had, but she was very much against it, which I found very interesting. She was very adamant and she very much advocated the women's role in society. She believed that women or teachers, that they can teach and that they should be mothers and that they should take care of their children and have and have children. She felt that was very important. And her influence, um, 
you know, today everyone has an opportunity to go to school. We have public schools where everyone of any ethnicity, of any age, and of any sex can go to school. They can become educated and they can go as far as they want. No one is going to make them go on to college or do that. that. That's up to them. But we have all these opportunities that are provided for us. And I believe that she had an influence on that because of her in creating these schools for women and encouraging women to go to school. People, people took advantage of that and now everyone can go to school no matter who they are. And um, I also think that, you know, God, he encourages us to further our educations, um, women too, not just men, because um, women, you know, they have the role in the home, but a lot of women, they like to, they, they want to have a career and they want to do that. And this, because of her, we can do both. We can have, we have both of those. Um, yeah, and that's Catherine Beecher. <laughs>